So in this video, now we'll try to learn how to connect uh, MongoDB, okay, from front and side using Node.js and React. So now first thing what I will do, I will open, I have opened my Visual Studio. Now I will go and try to create that one new folder. Okay, so I will do that. Open folder, open folder, no. So I need to create that new folder, open folder, okay. I came to desktop and I will go ahead and create one new folder here. And I will give that name as MongoDB Connect. Okay. And then I will select this one. So now it's got open for us MongoDB connections and there are nothing is there here. So now we'll first thing we'll go and try to open that new terminal. And in this terminal, we'll first try to install that one package so that I will paste it here. Okay. NPM install this one. So this command we need to run. So once we will run that, we can see here now node module package, everything got installed. Okay. After that, we need to install this one. Okay. NPM I MongoDB. Okay. So these two package we first we need to install. And I hope you have NPM. If you not installed, then let me know if you're getting error. I will help you out what else you need to install. Okay. So now everything got installed. Now I will go ahead and create one new uh, file. Okay. So I will create that now. MongoDB.js. Okay. So now in this one, what we will do? We'll try to now do that, create things. So first thing is now const. Okay. And I will go ahead and I pass it mongo client okay equals to require so we'll go and type require and what is required we require mongos db okay so that already we downloaded now this is done okay after this second variable we need const url need to pass okay so for url this is that default url okay if while doing that installation if we have not done any customization so this will be default mongodb url will be there for this installation i already created one video so you can go ahead and see that now after this we'll create one more database name okay so i have the database as ecom so i'll put that db name whatever db you have in your uh, side you can put that db name and one more thing now we need to create that object so we we'll create that object equals to new mongo client and then need to pass that url okay now done okay now we'll create one function that name will pass that db connection db connection and now in this one we can create one more variable we put that as a result and then this will be client dot connect okay so client dot connect and this will return us promise so we can make it await await and if this is await then this function need to be asynchronous okay so now this error also gone after this we'll create one more variable db to result dot db 
Let's go database name. Not game, just a minute, type it. B A S E N M E. Okay, so this is database set. Database name. Okay, so whatever we created here, this one only I'm using. So you can just do it here in this way as well. Okay, if there will be any spelling, it will be get corrected. So I did here a spelling mistake last time. That's why it was not working. Now I will correct it out. Okay, so this also got enabled. So database I used. Okay. And now what else we going to return? We going to return that db dot collection. Okay. So you know that I already explained what is that collection. So I'm going to use that collection as products. Okay, so I pass that name. Oh my God. Okay, so now these things are done. So with this, we will be able to connect it. Okay, so now what I will do, I will go and try to run this one. Okay, so I will put that node space dot Geo Mongo DB dot JS. Okay. So now it's got run successfully since nothing else I am returning it out. So we not got any output. So till that point, first you try to do that. Once it's working, then we'll go ahead and now we'll try to see how to fetch data, delete, drop all those things. We'll try to learn. And if you're getting here any import error or any file missing or module missing just you can put in that comment i will try to help you out which all library you need to install yeah okay i hope you like this video